In this video, we're going to be simplifying a trigonometric expression. In this example, we're going to be simplifying the sine of x times the cosine squared of x minus the sine of x. By factoring out the common monomial factor, the sine of x, and then using a fundamental identity. So we're going to start off, it kind of gave us our first thing to do, to factor out the common monomial factor, the sine of x. So what does that mean? So if we look at what we have, so we have the sine of x times the cosine squared of x minus the sine of x, we see that they both have the sine of x. So each term, because there's a term here and a term here, and they each have the sine of x. So we are going to factor that out. So if I take out the sine of x, that's going to leave me with a cosine squared of x minus 1. Right? A cosine squared of x minus 1. So when we get here, we notice that we are so close. So close. Because if we were to use the Pythagorean identity, 1 minus the cosine squared of x, that would give us the sine squared of x. So we don't want to just factor out just the sine. We want to factor out a negative. So in this case, as we're so close, we're going to factor out a negative as well. So if I take out a negative sign, right, so let me kind of rewrite this then. Oops. So if I were to take out a negative as well, so we do it in two steps, right? We've So um, we've already taken out the sine of x, but now I want to take out a negative. So if, if I take out a negative, and again, I already have the sine of x pulled out, that's going to give me a negative cosine squared of x plus 1 because this was a positive, and if I take a negative away from it, it makes it negative. And this was a negative, and if I take a negative away from it, it makes it a positive. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rewrite this. So I have the negative sine of x times 1 minus the cosine squared of x. And now we see that we are really close. Not just really close, but we're actually like this piece matches this piece. So that tells us that we can plug this into that spot right there. So if we look here and we plug that in, we now have a negative sine of x times, and in this spot, we're going to put in that sine squared of x. And so from here we're going, gosh, well, what does that give us? Well, it gives us a negative sine cubed of x. And we're finished. And so this is the simplified solution.